Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's W from Needy Cat Media. Today's video is we're going to add a photo library to our Plex server. What's cooler than that? Watching TV, switch over and start looking at your photos? Why not, right? Let me show you how to do it. We're going to start right now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our Plex server. So now that you have it up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to more, scroll down here to the bottom. You'll come up all the way to the top. This is the name of your server. Mine says garage two. Yours are going to say something different, but this is the name of, of your server. We're going to click the little add button. So once we do that, the add library window, as you can see, is opening up from here. We can create a movie. TV shows, music, which we had done in a prior video. If you want, I'll leave a link right up above us. Not too bad video, check it out. Then you can do photos. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on photos and it's gonna ask for a name. So we'll just put in here, we'll take this side and we'll type in here, family photos. We'll leave the language as English and we'll go ahead and we'll click next. Now next is gonna bring you up to the add folders. So from here, this is where you're gonna browse uh, either your computer or your, uh, your home network for wherever you keep your photos stored. So we'll click on that. Now you can see I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. You won't have most of this. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Most of you guys will see it on a C drive, maybe a D drive, something like that. Um, I keep mine on a Synology NAS, a network storage device. So we'll go down here and we'll click on the X drive. And that's where I keep all of my, my pictures. I'll click on picture backup and I will click add. Now you saw other ones in there. I just picked the very, very top because I wanted to pull everything else in. And then I'm going to click add library. And what it's doing now it's going through and it's cataloging all, everything that's in there. So we'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll check it out. So we gave it a little bit longer than a few seconds. Uh, the folder that I was attaching to had many, many years worth of photos. It took a little bit longer. So when you're doing this process and it's, it's spinning and it's thinking, just let it go, walk away and let it finish. Now, when I came back, which was about 30 minutes later, I did get a message in the front that said something went wrong, but um, the little icon that was spinning that said it was still thinking and pulling everything in, all you have to do is just refresh the screen. It'll ask you to log back into the account. So after you reset it and you log back in, you'll come to your home screen, just simply scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see family photos. Go ahead and give it a click. And look, it pulled everything in. Have over 418 pictures and you can scroll down and see them all. You also have the ability to go here and look at albums. Now the albums are gonna be your, your folders. So that's what I would recommend. There's a lot of them here and then when you wanna look at something, simply just click on the folder and it'll open up all of the different videos. And you'll be able to access this from your TV. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down there in the comments. Um, as always, stay safe and stay healthy.